The Chainsaw Man anime got almost as much hype as a Travis Scott concert on Fortnite, but now that it's finally airing, I'm not seeing quite as much hype as I did when the trailer came out. In fact, a lot of people are calling Chainsaw Man overhyped. So in this video, I'll be addressing the following four questions. Does Chainsaw Man live up to the hype? Was the animation good enough? Is Bleach better? And how might this affect LeBron's legacy? My first impressions of Chainsaw Man were overwhelmingly positive. Episode 1 opens with an unsettling zoom towards this ominous looking door that gives me flashbacks to Turning Point 4. Immediately, the tone of Chainsaw Man is set by the dark, melancholic atmosphere hinting at the extreme suffering that lurks in the shadows of Denji's life. As we all know, anime protagonists are legally required to have dead parents, which means Denji has to pay off his father's debt. Thus, Denji has no choice but to sell his body. And I'm not talking about Craigslist either, he literally auctions off his body parts because he's too broke to survive. Imagine selling half your nutsack for only $681. Let's do the math. If Denji's testicles are worth $681 each, how many testicles would Denji have to sell per month if he's living in California? And here's another question, who even bought that shit from him anyway? Did Denji create a listing on Facebook Marketplace and then Jeffrey Dahmer just happened to find it? I'm asking because I'm pretty sure my balls would sell for millions. I mean, these massive meat marbles could probably feed an entire African village for months. Anyway, on the bright side, Denji does hold the world record for the shortest episode of MTV Cribs. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Denji, and welcome to my crib. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching. Denji's house reminds me of the first time I ever played Minecraft. Personally, I don't even consider this a house. In my opinion, Denji is homeless. With and without the M. But even if you guys are just as broke as Denji, don't worry because right now, Atlas VPN is running a massive discount of only $1.99 a month. For some reason, a lot of streaming services like to gatekeep anime with region locks, but Atlas VPN allows you to set your location wherever you want so you can unlock content from all over the world. Luckily, Chainsaw Man is available in most countries, but you never know when your streaming service might randomly change their mind and blue ball your entire country, so it's always a good idea to have a VPN just in case. Atlas VPN keeps your Google searches private, which is especially important now that Makima is becoming mainstream. It also blocks malicious links, ads, and trackers, and notifies you immediately if there's ever a threat to your online information. Protect unlimited devices with a single subscription using my link in this video's description to get your special three-year discount of only $1.99 a month. You even get a 30-day money back guarantee that you'll never have to use because Atlas VPN has over 6 million satisfied users. And you can make that 6 million in one right now by using my link below. Thank you again to Atlas VPN for sponsoring this video. Denji was lucky enough to stumble upon Pochita, who basically serves as a light in the darkness. I don't exactly support what Pochita did to Miti, but together, Pochita needs Denji and Denji needs Pochita. Even when Denji's desperate enough to eat cigarettes in order to purchase a piece of bread, he still shares it with Pochita because at rock bottom, a supportive friendship is very important. No matter how unfortunate Denji's life is, Pochita shares the burden with him and makes adorable noises to cheer him up. I'm a big fan of Pochita's voice actor, but here's what it would have sounded like if Pochita was voiced by American rapper Rick Ross. Huh. Anyway, Denji kills a bunch of zombies and then meets Makima. I'll have to talk about her and power in a separate video because I'd like to keep this one monetized. So for now, I'll just talk about episode 2's cut content instead. For some reason, people are complaining about this cut content as if it was the highlight of the entire manga, but honestly, I totally forgot it even happened. Basically, Makima tells Denji to go kill a devil, and he hesitates at first, but ends up transforming again and kills it. That's it. The fight lasted like two pages, it really wasn't that important. Also, instead of ordering a sausage, Denji was supposed to order a hot dog. This unforgivable betrayal has left me heartbroken because that hot dog was meant to symbolize Denji's relationship with Makima. She's hot, and he's her dog. The plot is ruined. Anyway, I think it's time to get controversial, so go ahead and start typing the rough draft for the death threat you're about to leave in the comment section because I know a lot of people have mixed opinions about Chainsaw Man's animation. Chainsaw Man has some of the best looking CGI I've ever seen, but CGI is a lot like NTR. 
Even when it's good, it's still bad. Some projects like Attack on Titan and Chainsaw Man probably would have been impossible to produce without using CGI, so luckily about 90% of the CGI in Chainsaw Man actually impressed me. But a few scenes did look a little bit off. I'm not calling it trash or garbage or X-Arm, I just find it slightly distracting when they alternate between 3D CGI and 2D animation so abruptly. After a couple more episodes, I probably won't even notice it anymore, but Chainsaw Man has a very unique style that might take me a minute to get used to. Basically, I'm saying it's okay to admit that the CGI looks kinda weird sometimes, because overall, Chainsaw Man still looks absolutely stunning with and without CGI. But is it better than Bleach? I don't understand why everyone is suddenly comparing Chainsaw Man with Bleach as if they're even remotely similar. It's like the minute two shonen start airing simultaneously, the fan bases just instinctively declare war on each other. I guess if we're judging by how good the bread looks, they would both get clapped by Mushoku Tensei. But this wasn't even a fair fight to begin with. Bleach has almost 400 episodes, and Chainsaw Man has won. Turn on subtitles if you missed the joke. The point of this video was to address the question, is Chainsaw Man overhyped? Well, honestly, it kind of is. It deserves to be because it's amazing, but yeah, it's pretty overhyped. If the cure for cancer just got announced, it would get about half as much hype as Chainsaw Man did. So is Chainsaw Man overhyped? Yes. Is Chainsaw Man the cure for cancer? Yes. Over a year ago, I made a video reviewing the Chainsaw Man anime before it even started airing, so I went back and watched it, and a lot of what I said was accurate, except for all of my predictions on who the voice actors were. Um, the opening? I think it sets the tone. I thought it was an absolute banger. Yeah, <laughs> it does go hard. The opening is a banger. This is kind of embarrassing to admit, but the first time I watched the opening, I thought it was... I hate using this word, but I thought it was mid. The song was decent, and I love to see power, but the clips they used kinda seemed a bit random to me. Until I realized the entire opening is full of movie references, and then it became one of the dopest things I've ever witnessed. Yeah, I feel extremely stupid for not noticing that at first, but now it's actually one of my favorite anime openings. I've heard the argument that it lacks creativity and it's lazy to copy scenes from other media, but the reason they did this is because their target audience was literally one person. <laughs> the author of Chainsaw Man is well known for being a movie buff, so this opening is actually a gift to him. Even the singer of the opening was a fan of the manga, so everything about this opening is actually extremely wholesome. So far, I love all the ending songs as well, but there's so many, I feel like I'll have to put them in a tier list or something. I've also got a lot to say about the waifus, but I'm saving it for a future video. Stay tuned for that, I'll have some more Chainsaw Man videos coming out soon, but I don't know how to end this one, so here's Denji. Hey guys, it's your boy Denji again. Wish me a happy birthday in the comment section if you're still watching, and don't forget to subscribe to Echidna to see where he ranks Chainsaw Man on his Fall 2022 tier list video. It's probably gonna be a banger video, maybe. Alright, yeah. Yeah, that's all Kidnut wrote in the script you gave me. Thanks for watching. Bye.